So Sigmund Freud said that the basic personality structure is laid into the human being by the age of five. The basic patterning structure is laid in by five. Now here's the interesting part. Cognitive development in the human being doesn't really start to get going and become prominent until around ages six and seven. Now think about that. The basic personality structure is laid down by five, but we don't really start making sense of it all until six or seven. That means it's not coming in based on what we've learned. It's coming in based on some uh, predilection on the part of us to pay attention to certain kinds of cues and things that are happening in the environment. So here's an example. Here I am, let's say little, little baby Ronnie, cute little kid in his crib, playing with my toys, and all of a sudden the door opens and in comes this woman, who's my mom, and I'm not thinking all this, it's just my experience. And she's coming toward me with arms like this, and I know from past experience, oh, my favorite thing, we're going to have loving. I just know it, it's coming. <laughs> and so I stand up, and I'm reaching out, and then all of a sudden, she turns around and walks away. Oh my God, what happened? Now, if I happen to be a self-realized being at that age, my reaction would be, how interesting. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be back soon. <laughs> I'll just continue playing. I'm having a great time. But if I'm here learning to grow spiritually and I have come in to work on a pattern of rejection, then I will take that personally. And that pattern will start to get seeded in my consciousness. And if it happens again, it'll become a habit pattern because I'll tend to see each one of these things that way. I am now involved in a pattern where I will tend to, when I get older, be attracted to women who will, in fact, reject me. I will, I will fall in love with them. I will, those will be the ones I will seek out. And in fact, if we start to have that kind of a relationship and she quits doing it, I'll pull it out of her. I'll do things to make her reject me. Why? Because I have rejection and loving go together in my consciousness. You understand that? Is this a bad thing? No, I came in to heal the rejection pattern. The misunderstanding that God could ever reject me. It's what I'm doing here. I have to set it up in such a way that I can live the pattern so I can work on it. Since it's a whole different way of looking at things. It's seeing through soul-centered eyes. Psychologists have no explanation for that kind of thing. They just describe the behavior. Metaphysically, uh, you know, we could talk about it as the seeding of karma. That's how they would approach it in the Eastern religion. But as David pointed out quite rightly this morning, whether it is or it isn't, you still have the same task, and that is to deal with the thing that's going on inside of you. So in this paradigm that we're working with here, what life becomes all about is using every one of these things that disturb our peace to see it as part of the soul's curriculum that we came in to heal. Got that one, got that one, got that one. You get the final one, you merge into Christ consciousness or Buddha consciousness or God con whatever you want to call it. So what am I saying here? Bottom line, practically for our use. Don't think or stop thinking of, it, of uh, upsets as bad and start thinking of them as opportunities. <laughs> They're opportunities to get free about anything. The thing doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. It's how you use it inside of yourself. 
that's what's important. 